Tar Heels look to take the sneaker crown for March Madness. Kendrick and Reebok shut down the streets of LA and Ronnie's Pumas and more. I am your host Jacques Slade and this is Today in Sneaks. Let's talk Puma first as the exclusive Puma R698 and RF698 Mint are going to be hitting US shores this weekend. The models are part of the Tokyo Sakura project from Ronnie that recently released in Japan. Now Ronnie's usual materials such as pigskin suede is mixed with a little bit of a leather liner, though it is Ronnie's choice of colors that really make both of these pop. The RF698 Mid is Ronnie's interpretation of the shoe and sits on the trimonic midsole with a mix of nubuck and pigskin on the upper. Look for the US release to happen on March 29th at 11 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at Kith Shops in NYC and KithNYC.com. If you happen to be in Los Angeles last night or in Hollywood to be more specific where I was, you would have saw that Kendrick and Reebok shut it down. They held a moving concert that toured the streets of the city with plenty of runners in tow. The run was there to promote Kendrick's new album and to help Reebok promote the new Z Pump Runner, which is the brand's newest running shoe that uses pump technology. Now, the shoe and the album are both available right now, and the Z Pump Runner actually has been selling really well, so if you haven't, make sure you check those out. Next up is the Nike Net Collector Society with the Zoom Hyper Rev and the Hyper Chase. Nike Basketball created these to celebrate those who actually cut down the nets during March, and the colors on the upper are a mix of those collegiate schools. Personally, I like the look of the Hyper Rev more than I like the look of the Hyper Chase. There's something about that tonal black upper that really stands out to me more than the colorful upper that's on the Hyper Chase. Just imagine a basketball court that that's color. The Hyper Chase is actually available right now over on Nike.com with the Hyper Rev dropping in early April. The big news in the sports world right now is March Madness and it looks like UNC Tar Heels have won the sneaker award already. These were just revealed today and rocked the Tar Heels logo on the heel slash mid panel with the UNC blue over the upper. As most of you know, UNC is a Jordan school and they have been pulling out some exclusives all year, but this pair, probably the illest I have seen. I doubt these will ever release to the public, but stay close and I will update you if I hear anything different. As for the question of the video, I want to know if your school was sponsored by a brand, would you automatically wear that brand or would you still wear whatever you want and just rock that brand maybe at a basketball game or something like that? Let me know your thoughts right down in the comments below. As for what I'm rocking today, it is this shoe. This is the Street Gato. This is a Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, this is the Street Gato 5 in 5, Nike 5 Street Gato, I believe it is. Uh, these released maybe two, three years ago. But yeah, anyway, that's what I was rocking today. Hey, if you haven't already, why don't you like, favorite, and subscribe? That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on the channel. And also hit that thumbs up button because it definitely helps a lot. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks. And as always, I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace. Shoe that um, warms to my foot allows me to just get more out of myself, you know, um, more out of each practice and each performance. So, uh, which, you know, results in victory, which is everything. So, right now we're in the Reebok Lounge, and I just wanted to offer you guys a closer look at the Z.